Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like, let's crack into another one. TNT, Yo. I know I keep trying to convince you we live in a bad neighborhood now. We don't. But there's a Marcos pizza not that far from us. I'm not a big fan I mean, of Marcos. I'm not. Their cheese bread is really good, though. Marcos cheese bread? Yeah, it's bomb, bro. They got a lot of sesamins on it. Mm. Okay, okay. So, Where would you put Marcos on your tier hierarchy? Oh, of... I'll get to there in a second. Let's let's. I want to talk about the story. <laughs> fair, we'll, then fair we'll, enough. Then we'll get fair, to that. So, all right. So, a 19 year old guy, 19 year old man, tried to go in and rob the store. Yeah. So he went in with a gun, and he was like, and he uh he had the gun in his waistband. He handed them a piece of paper that said, "Don't say s word. Give me the money." Okay. Don't say a thing. Give me all the money in and the register right now. So the regular yeah. cashier, whoever, regular employee who's working the thing, uh-huh. instead the of doing that, okay, I don't know how if they jumped the counter, attacked him, and got him in a chokehold. So like, okay, so apparently he didn't have a gun. No, he had a gun. He had a yeah, gun. so it was like it was hidden though, because like he he was trying like the bank robber approach, like give me all your money. Oh, he had it like in his, his he pocket. A, yeah, he must have. So, <laughs> so homeboy, so homeboy is in a chokehold. The manager comes around. Yeah, grabs the gun out of his out of the the criminal's pocket. Oh, there was an actual gun. Yeah, there was a gun. Oh, jeez. Manager tries to shoot the robber. Yeah. Yes, that's what like, you do. Although he's already subdued. It's Texas. So, right. The gun doesn't go off. This so, man had a fake gun. No. So he proceeds to start pistol whipping him. Yeah. To then he goes into the back and gets a knife. Nah, that's too And much. comes out and asks the man, do you want prison or death? That's actually kind and, of badass. And the, I, and the criminal t- chose prison and waited for the cops. To, this this manager of Marcos was going to murder this man in the store. Hey. Like he went to get another weapon. Yeah. to murder him. I'm not mad at that. You don't if you get the gun away from the criminal, you don't just shoot him. Yes, you do. <laughs> wow. Yes, you you're do. texanized. Yes, you do. You 100 percent shoot that man. And I was reading. I was looking up about this story because I I, I heard it was in Texas, so I googled it. Yeah. Um, to see, so I want to talk about on the podcast. Turns out it is in Austin. Oh, okay. So it, you know, yeah, our neck of the woods. Yeah, and it's 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 not super close to us. But we're not going to talk about yeah. it, the proximity to where yeah, it is. But us. It, it's it's in Austin where we are. So uh, I mean, look, man, this kind of stuff happens all the time in city. So it's not that surprising. Pretty badass way for them to handle it. Stupid, but well, badass. But when I was looking at it on Reddit, it came up on Reddit, obviously. Yeah. And uh, I couldn't find the proof, but somebody said that this was the second failed robbery attempt at this at this uh, Marco's Pizza. And I don't oh. know if they just, like, thwarted it or, like, what they did. But... Oh. Bro, they need to get so so from now on at that Marco's Pizza, they need to start hiring people with a chip on their shoulder and so or somebody that just needs to get that aggression out. Like (laughs) in the interview, you need to be like, "Hey, are you suffering from any mental illnesses?" And they're like, "Actually, yeah." And they're like, "Oh, you're hired," because (laughs) seriously, and you just give that man a shotgun and you tell him, "Look, if anybody comes in here and points a gun at you, carte blanche." And just let them go, <laughs> like the berserker from Borderlands. Well, you just let them go. It's well, it's funny because like I'm serious. Almost every job that you work in, like a restaurant or like whatever, or yeah. not a restaurant, a store. Yeah. They always tell you give them whatever they want. Nah, I mean yes, a hundred percent. You should give them the money, give them the games, give them whatever the hell. Give them whatever they want. Yeah. But, like, people always, like, no, nah, I'm going to stop them. It's like the people at, like, Walmart trying to stop someone from stealing a goddamn dish towel. And they're just, like, fighting them. And, like, bro, let him steal the dish towel. I mean, yeah, 100%. I, I agree with you, Jonas, is that preserving your life, especially as an employee, this business is not. Marco's Pizza is not going to take care of you if you get shot. All right? No, they're <laughs> if, probably going to fire your ass. <laughs> no, they'll probably, like handle your medical bills and then charge you like in your pay you have to play retro <laughs> you're, like, you're not getting a raise this year steven exactly but Goddamn either, idiot either way it is definitely more important for you to save your own life but jonah said an important thing 
He said that if somebody comes in trying to rob you, you give them what they want. If you come in and try to rob me, you just order some bullets, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> a hot order of lead in your ass, all right? So if, and I'm going to give you what you want if that is an option. So if behind the counter at Marco's, they have a shotgun, and you come through and you you know you give the secret code, it's the under-the-table menu, like at Five Guys, you can get it monster style or whatever the fuck. Like, you, you point a gun in my face, oh, you ordering from the secret menu. <laughs> Hold on, sir, let me get your order. Pow, bitch. Yeah give you what you want got what you ordered yeah prisoner death i agree i cannot believe that this man went and got a knife and was like what do you want prisoner death i respect it i respect it now like honestly i don't know if he's the owner 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 or if he's just a manager is it like a big difference if he would have like, if the guy would have said death and he would have murdered him he would have went to jail yeah like for sure a hundred well he wouldn't have killed i don't think that the the guy working the marco's pizza job is a murderer by nature. Now, hey, I feel you, Jonas. I feel you. I'm like, like, but he didn't do it. So, uh, you know, he, he had the opportunity. He could have been like, all right, let him go. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> they have a, they had a picture of the, Stab uh, this of man the up perp. right now. He looked, he got, yeah, he got messed up. Man. Brother, he needed to get messed up. Getting pistol whip. He's lucky he made it out with his life because honestly, <laughs> this is Texas <laughs> and we'll shoot you. Yeah, this man had like, like, you down, had like one, down. Of them, one of them nose bridge piercings. He had a nose bridge piercing. And like, he had like he had like a goatee, but it was only like a little bit of hair on each side of the chin. It wasn't like he hadn't fully grown into it yet. What? <laughs> and he, and he had like some swole ass face. You should have sent me a picture before before the video. I would have put it up there. We yeah. could have looked at it. I mean, it it's all right. Yeah. I know, but it would have been funny I to mean, look. You can at do it right now while we're nah, talking. Nah, yeah. Nah. yeah. It's, it's, I don't even know gone. his name. The moment's gone. His name was Robert Paulson. His name was lucky to be alive, man. Good luck in prison. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man, because you ain't, you ain't going to get a lot from a Marco's Pizza. So it's not like, is uh, like if armed robbery or felony? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay. Yeah, well, and I think if you have a gun, yeah, you're like robbing someone with a gun is way worse than just like robbing someone. Well, yeah, I guess, yeah, if, yeah. is that burglar? I don't know. I don't know the, the, the layers Ar of crime. Maybe armed robbery. It's, you know, but yeah, like, dry. but right. Like they also do safe drops at any place that like means. that. So what the are you going to go in there and get like, maybe even if they open the safe for you, what a thousand dollars. And they normally got a time lock safe where you hit it and it takes 15 minutes oh, for the safe to open too. A safe drop is when they take the money. Once they get a certain amount of money in the store, they, they put it in the safe. Yeah. And they have like a, they'll usually have the safe. will have like a slit at the top. You just slide it right in. You don't have to open the safe. Oh, I thought they like took it to the bank. Don't they have to do those? No, like when I worked stuff? at Blockbuster, yeah. we would every so often, we would just literally like, well, Blockbuster, I had to open the safe. But uh, at uh, a blockbuster at a different place, yeah, it just ha it just has a slit in it. You just put the money you put the money in like an envelope, and it tells how much it is because it. And then like at the end of the night, when you're counting everything down, you add all those up. You just slide it in a slot at the top of the safe, and then if you try to get in the safe, you punch in the code, and then it waits 15 minutes, and then it starts beeping, and then you can open the safe. And they do that on purpose. So if you're getting robbed, like you can't open the safe for them right then. And I'm sure that, you know, since the blockbuster days that they've come up with even more innovative ways to protect their money. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it was a high end one time, one time when I was, I didn't know this. Yeah. I didn't know this. Uh, like I would, I would open, I was a manager there. So I would open the store and stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. if no one ever told me, but same if, if I entered my code plus one number, it alerted the police. So like if my code my, my alarm code was like four three six six, if I typed four three six seven, it called the cops. It was so that way if somebody grabbed you on the way in, when you're like, I gotta turn off the alarm, you put in the one number off code, it looks normal, the alarm shuts off, but it alerts the cops to come. Uh, so like i had i had like went in <laughs> that seems like something they would want to tell you i would think so but i never was told this so i go in doing the thing i like open the door i'm like i go into the back room i'm like i'm like messing around i come out there's <laughs> cops around. in the store and like in the funniest part was like the alarm is going off they don't even like freeze or anything they're just like Hey, what's going on? And I was like, what are you talking about? They're like, you set off the alarm. I'm like, bitch, you were the worst. Like, what What if the bird, the man with the gun is behind the thing and you're all just like, you set the alarm code off, buddy. And I'm like, 
No, it's just me, dude. Like, check the store out. And he was like, okay, I'm on my way now. And just left. I mean, look, man. Look at the, the town you worked in. It was It was not. The, the town you worked in was. That was the best quality town I worked in. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what that's That was saying. Mentor on the Lake. Yeah, but is Mentor on the Lake better than Austin, Texas? No, but okay, it's not. It's then. better than Meadville, Pennsylvania or, or Ashtabula. Go ahead. Give a timeline of all the places you live, Joe. I didn't live in Meadville. I mean, you know. Maybe I went in Edinburgh. Oh, I don't Maybe even, I went in Erie. You saying names I don't even know. Yeah, I'm just naming areas. You just named Venter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, but uh, anyways. Yeah. I, so. I don't know. I've never had any experience with safes, Jonas. I, I don't want to be trusted with your money because if it comes up missing, you're going to be like, hey, he took it. You know what we should do? What? We should. Have a crazy town safe? In the floor. In the, what the, Why? So it's secret. You gotta lift have, a rug up, like put in a number. I don't have anything valuable, Jonas. Your life. We'll just I'm keep... gonna put my life in a safe. <laughs> I would love that actually. If you could just put me in a safe with like Xbox and unlimited pizza. <laughs> like yeah, I'm I'm game. I'm good. There we go. So like I was saying, Jonas, before you you so in the rudely interrupted me with the story of this harrowing uh, ordeal. Marco's pizza. Is it better? Or worse than Pizza Hut. Are we talking actual pizza? Pizza Hut or Domino's. Like their actual pizza itself, not the cheese sticks? Oh, Marco's pizza is like D tier. D tier. Yeah. D tier. Yeah. They was grilling the die for D tier pizza. Yeah. Well, it's just the the money that D tier pizza brings in. (laughs) (laughs) Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonah. TNT. Oh, yeah.